Hey guys, Teresa here with Sippy Couture. Okay, this is what we're doing today. We're gonna test out Flimsy Poxy, the regular setting one. Let's get started. All right guys, let's jump straight in with Flimsy Poxy. Um, I'm excited. This is from Flynn's sister supply shop, Jessica Flynn, super talented in um, so many ways. And now she has her epoxy line and um, we're gonna try it out. This is the fast cure epoxy. I am a fast curing epoxy kind of girl. I like being able to get my tumblers done and out as quickly as possible to meet the customer's needs. Both of, both of these have um, the UV prohibitors in it to extend uh, the UV protection from it turning yellow over time. Um, we're not gonna use this one today. I would love to, but I'm gonna start off, since I haven't used it before, I'm gonna start off with the regular setting epoxy um, and see what that's all about. Super easy to tell the difference. The fast one has this gorgeous floral um, on it that I just absolutely love. And then the regular setting one is, um, is white leopard like come on can you get any more perfect than white leopard it's like a little snow leopard so we're going to like i said get right in get these poured out and um and and go so whenever i'm using my epoxy i am um okay good so part b has a black lid and part a has a white lid that's um, that's really good. That's exciting because once you mix those lids up, you're kind of in trouble. So let's get that put aside, and we're going to equally measure out how much we need for this 40 ounce um, Big Betty from Tipsy Magnolia. All right, so pouring it, it um, it looks like a medium viscosity epoxy, so it will have um, the coverage is going to be free. Then I'll measure out part B. I usually, ooh, this is thinner. This is thinner. Okay, so even though um, part A is thick, part B doesn't look as thick and it's been the same temperature. So mixing this, it may not be um, as difficult as some of those other, um, as some other epoxies that may be both thick. Since part A is thinner, that's definitely gonna save some um, I'm definitely going to save some elbow grease. All right, get that. Don't trip. All right, that is even. And then I always like to mix uh, my epoxy in a little bath of warm water. But I don't know. Since this is, um, since it looks so thin, I don't, um, this B looks so thin, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to try like this and see what happens. If I feel like it's too thick, then I'll go ahead and do that and just kind of stick with the way that I normally mix epoxy. But let me try as true to the epoxy as I can for this first attempt. All right, I'm gonna pour this out. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow, okay. So this is mixing the way that I always keep my epoxy inside of like a little warm bath to help it not be so thick when I'm mixing. This is mixing as if it was already sitting in a warm bath. Um, it's, it's seriously mixing that gentle. It's not too thick at all. I mean, there's some epoxy where you're mixing and it's hard. And even this epoxy, I don't know what, what month, we're in December, I was gonna ask that. <laughs> it's like December 14th or something. Um, and it's fairly cold outside. I mean, I'm in like a sweater. Uh, so, chilly-ish in my house. I, if I had to guess, I would say somewhere around 68, 69 degrees in my house. Because I had to pack boxes and I was sweating. So, my epoxy isn't exactly warm. It's not like it was sitting in a warmer out in the sun. Right, I need to go grab, um, I need to grab a popsicle stick. One second. Right. So keeping with how I normally mix epoxy minus the bath, the thing that I'm doing um, that I always do, like I said, minus the warm bath, as I pour it into one container, I mix it really good. Once I don't see any ribbons in that, I pour it right into my first container. 
for me, I feel like if I spent all that time measuring out epoxy, I want to make sure that I'm getting everything, that I'm getting every single drop. So I always go from one container, mix it as much as I can, scrape everything, and then pour it back into the original. I also take my heat gun to make sure that I get all that epoxy from um, from all these the sides of it and the bottom. So I'm going to do what I normally do with that. I'm like seriously pretty sure that this epoxy is already combined and ready to go. Uh, I definitely need to scrape up the sides of this cup a little better and make sure that everything that's in here really is moved around right. The only thing is that I do tend to scrape the inside of my cups. I know it's not recommended, but I do tend to do it. And one of the things with that is, um, I'm trying to find my rubbing alcohol. <laughs> And one of my things with that is that uh, when you're scraping all the sides, if you didn't mix everything, if you didn't pull it off the sides good enough, then you'll end up with anything from the sides kind of not being well mixed into your epoxy. So I switch to a popsicle stick, I scrape all the sides, I scrape the bottom, I scrape the popsicle stick off, scrape that back in, and I mix it. I do not mix for a certain period of time. I mixed based off of look and feel. A lot of times when you're mixing epoxy, you'll see sort of, um, I'll say ribbons through your epoxy where you can tell where it's unmixed, but uh, they go away as they start to mix. So swipe this off. There um, are some bubbles in here. Whenever I do it with warm water and I let that first part A sit for a minute, I don't get as many bubbles. Those um, pop fairly easily. Like it just, since it's thin, it doesn't whip that many bubbles in there, but this one, it does have bubbles, which is to be expected. They're rising to the top already though. And if I hit it with my, uh, with my torch, that popped and the rest of them are coming up. So this is going to be really easy. The fact that these bubbles are coming up on their own, can you see them? They're coming up on their own so fast. All right, blast that and let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, it's, it goes smooth. It's crazy because everyone said it's like it's a nice thick epoxy and they can get away with doing a coat over their glitter, which is crazy because the way that it feels right now, it feels fairly thin putting it on. Um, it, uh, I was going to say something else. I, um, I'm amazed. <laughs> it feels fairly thin going on, but I bet you after it sits there, it just thickens up like it needs to because that is insane. Um, I'm pretty sure I did something to my arm or shoulder muscle. So the fact that if I don't have to like mix that much, that could be really cool. I can almost feel the bubbles popping under my finger. Oh my gosh, it's going on so smooth. It's um, it's thin. Smooth. Once it's mixed and you're smoothing it on the tumbler, it's not a thick globby epoxy that you're um that you're throwing on here. It's really nice. I'm gonna get a layer on, and then I'll do what I need to do. Use my heat gun as always, work this around. Torch it, make sure my bubbles are out. And I do need to take a minute to pay special attention to this handle area and make sure I wipe away as much epoxy as I can because the handle has to go back on this big Betty and I don't want to fight with too much epoxy in that area. So you're going to see me scraping away epoxy from that area only because um, this is going to be getting a few layers and I want to make sure that I'm not running into any issues with putting that handle back on. This is so easy to spread. I'm used, like I said, I'm used to fast setting epoxy, so I'm going to be really excited to see how that, um, how theirs compares. All right, let's go ahead and hit this with a torch. Your heat gun is going to move your epoxy around. Your torch is going to pop any bubbles. 
The good thing about doing this on this cup that I'm using is that with these um, chunks of glitter in here, they're doing pretty good to almost magnify some of those bubbles. So once I see those bubbles are popped around there, I'm pretty much good to go. Holy moly. All right, so I'm gonna point out a section right here, a ton of bubbles, okay? I'll let you know when it comes back around because I'm running this through and they are, they're like, it's crystal clear. It's absolutely crystal flipping clear. Holy cow, no way. All right, here we go, let's see. <laughs> they're all gone. Oh my goodness, I have never worked with epoxy where the bubbles release this easily. The thing I definitely want to double check um, is that for some of this, some of these chunks, it is bigger chunks. Um, the glitter mix that I used had fine glitter in here. So I want to look a little closer and see if the chunks that have spots on them, is that the fine glitter? or is that bubbles? That's fine glitter, because I moved it and it's still there. Okay, let me wipe away around the handle a little. This epoxy, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really, really impressed, guys. This is a great epoxy, holy moly. Okay, I wanna make sure around this whole edge of it is done. I see some spots that may look a little spore, sparse, bleh. And I want to make sure I don't have any issues moving forward. And then I trim off the bottom of my tumbler. So this will get a cup edging tool and um, that bottom part will be taken away. But I want to make sure that there aren't any issues right here of it not being covered. Hit it one more time. Make sure that new epoxy that I put on doesn't have any bubbles in it. I'm going to show you guys inside this cup. Oh my goodness. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. She made such a great epoxy. Let's get to that part. All right, so this is before. I'm gonna hit it with my torch. If my torch doesn't melt the cup. But those bubbles came to the top too. And um, and all these bubbles are still rising. So, I mean, that's not bad at all. For as many bubbles that were in it, none are on my tumbler. Any spots that has like those big chunky glitters where it's spotty, that's the fine glitter. That's, um, those are little flakes of fine glitter in there. So not even bubbles on that. All right, guys, it's been about three to five minutes. Um, no bubbles came up, so there's nothing to pop. I'm pretty sure they all got out in that last step that we were doing. I did forget to mention, I didn't notice an odor. There was no smell to this that I was like, oh, that's strong or oh, that's unpleasant. Uh, there was nothing added to added where it smelled like flowers or it smelled like it was trying to be clean. It just didn't have anything that I noticed. So that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and we will get the fast setting one done very shortly.